What's good everybody, it's the Sable Fighting 4 back with Switch Bliss, our Bliss CEX deck. So far the matches I've shown haven't been too great in the sense that I got my ass kicked. But I was fairly unlucky to be honest, I, the deck isn't as bad as uh, maybe you guys think it is if you watch the other matches. I've just been a bit unlucky. The other match I had like two Blissies prized, I drew like four prizes and couldn't see the other two. There were like the last two prizes left. So ran out of attackers. The Reggie Draco matchup, maybe if it wasn't the, if I didn't make the last misplay, small misplay, maybe it could have been different. But it was pretty close as well. So the deck, I mean, it's obviously not some sort of tier zero deck, but it's a lot more solid than other rogue decks that I've shown that uh, I did better. Uh, we just need to get that not stroke of luck necessarily, but things need to go right. I don't need to have like some super terrible luck. Okay, so I'm going to open up with the Cyclizar, our free retreating Pokemon, just how we like it. If you don't open with the Joltik, this is the next best thing to open with. So then hopefully I can search the Joltik and get it active to attack. And my opponent, he opened up with a Hoot Hoot, but also has the Dialga V. So this is going to be some sort of a Dialga V-Star deck, no doubt. I guess they can use the new cards for help as well. Uh, that V-Star attack, of course, it's still broken, being able to skip your opponent's turn. You can't ask for a stronger effect than that. Uh, provided though I get a fast setup and I can hit this guy, soften him up. You know, the skip turn trick, you can only do this once. And then he's just a vanilla attacker. Can still hit for a lot of damage, but Blissey has a lot of HP too. Okay, so I got the Joltik out, and I got one Chansey. Needed to get at least one so we can put the energy somewhere. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread these out. I'm even going to put on the Cyclizar since we don't have any other attacker. Might as well do two and two, just in case you never know what happens. And uh, I can just do the manual for the third will be all right indeed so so far so good i got the iono for next turn he didn't get any beldums out which is a plus for me we're running a bit slow ourselves so if you're gonna be bricked a little bit too it helps i mean these kinds of decks sort of in the same league you could say of consistency perhaps it's what's needed when the format is just so fast and so busted, you know, you need that pace that suits your deck as well. Okay, so I don't know if I'm, I was going to say I don't know if I'm going to draw Blissey from the Eono, but I decided not to play it at all actually because he doesn't appear to have a good hand at all. He just keeps not playing Pokemon down, just attacking and passing. So I don't want to help him out because it would be bad. You know, if you're bricked out, I'm going to leave you like that and attack with Cyclizar. Uh, if this thing evolves into the V-Star, it's a two-hit KO on it, no matter what with Blissey. So if I just hit for 100, then 100 plus 180, that's exactly 280. We can get the two-hit KO. So even though Cyclizar's damage isn't great, I mean, it's still not that bad, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to do boss's orders as well. If you're going to try and get me stuck, I'll try and get you stuck too. And put energies on the Chansey. And this is going to be another passive turn. I just need to attach one more energy to retreat though, and then kill the Noctowl. Or the Hoot Hoot, he's not going to get any search. Okay, yeah. Very, very slow, simple game so far. Not really any supporter playing, drawing. Okay, I reveal the switch. I can save an energy or two energies this way now. Fine. So now I got two chances almost powered up, and I'm going for the speed attack. Kill the Hoot Hoot. So even if he would like top deck a Noctile, he still won't be able to grab two trainers and get consistent maybe finally good i mean at this point you know is going to be pretty weak by the time i 
get to use it now that I got a prize too. Uh, and he did have a supporter. It's this hassle dude, which I guess you need to, your opponent needs to kill something for you to be able to draw. It lets you grab three cards from like the top seven, I think. Something like that. Not a bad supporter, but a bit too situational. Like in this case, I mean, he couldn't use it all those turns. And I got a few free shots. So got the Oricorio down. He's going to be able to draw even more. But his bench is pretty much full with no Beldums. Like this, this Dialga does have energies to attack now. And now I'm definitely going to have to see a Blissey. But, you know, with no Beldums, if this guy dies, how are you going to be able to respond? Uh, that, that Lapras EX is a weird choice for me. Like, my thinking is, I know that thing has an attack that grabs a lot of energies, but it needs like three energies on it too to work and uh, we're talking about different types as well it's not just mono metal or mono water it needs like a metal of water and something else like a colorless i suppose there's that a spec too that can turn that into a two energy attack but still build them is probably still the way to go okay now we did see the blissey and i had an ultra ball too I could have went that direction, but I don't really want to discard the catcher or anything. So we get the kill, we get two more prizes. I'm still in the lead, and I'm pretty much set up for the most part. We can get another Blissey next turn. Uh, the stadium is sort of limited in his bench as well. And, uh, you know, he doesn't have much going on. He gets the V-Star out finally and promoted the Lapras. Gonna draw the usual three with the bird. I think I'm in a pretty good position though. Um, the scary thing with Dialga is when they can use the skip your turn attack, get a kill, and then they got like six energies on so they can one shot everything, and then they can continue getting prizes. You can't you can't let that. You gotta let them. It has to be for you to be in the best case scenario. If they use the big attack, the V-Star attack, they can't get a one hit KO, which that's the case for Blissey. And they just get mono prizes basically. Like you would have to burn that to just kill something small only to get one prize. So I think we're good. We're doing okay. He promoted this Hoot Hoot as a decoy there, but I mean, it's fine with me at this point. I just got to keep attacking. Um, it's not like I can get any easy big prizes. So maybe get a small prize here. Then if I hurt like the Dialga, I can uh, pull it next turn. We got the catcher. So I'm going to, I'm going to, I could have done this right now, actually. I could have hit the Dialga, but I'm just going to kill the Hoot Hoot. Don't want this to evolve. And we'll do it later. I'm confident I'm going to redraw the catcher when we got Blissey's effect. All right. I mean, I do have a bunch of worthless cards now that are dead in hand. But I think we'll get by. The deck is thinned out enough. So Chris Crispin, shout out to Crispin Freeman. Uh, I suppose this is something else he can use to power up the Dialga and the Lapras. But this seems like a pretty gimmicky Dialga deck. Um, Metang is probably the more consistent option still if you have to use Dialga. In the end, I didn't really use this card. I I wanted to use it, but I never did. Should I still try and use it? I don't know, man. Like, I gotta check when are we gonna get the next set, too. Uh, I think it might be a while still, but you never know. Alright, so now I will use the Irida, and now I'm gonna get the catcher. See, this is another way we can get this. And I'm going to target the V-Star. So... 
Doing this basically means that this dangerous Pokemon, once he puts the energies on, because he doesn't have anything else, like it's going to be too slow for him to get another V-Star out to use, if he even can. Making sure this is hurt, it just pretty much means he can't use it. If he uses it, he's going to lose. I mean, I used both of my pulling cards. He is going to promote the lap press, and he is finally going to be able to go for the big attack here. Going to Eon on my ass, but that doesn't matter. And I retreated the hurt Blissey to safety. Having the Serena would have been pretty cool now, but my own stadium is getting in the way. I mean, I think we'll be all right, though. Like, he has to get five prizes. The only thing that could really do that's going to screw me over is, once again, because we don't have space in the bench, I can't have, like, the third Blissey powered up. So if he would, like, pull the Hurt Blissey, go for the 220, that's exactly 300, kill me, and then, you know, I'm going to naturally promote some, like, Manaphy or Joltik. Uh, but then if he can, like, pull again and hurt the Blissey with the big attack and kill it, then I'm going to run out of attackers. So that's going to be bad. Dialga can make checkmates like that, too, so you got to be careful. I think, though, we should be okay. I mean, he's struggling to set up. He put all those damn energies in the Dialga, but there's nobody else, like no other Dialga, to power up or evolve. So he can just use this, and that's it. He can't leave the lap press active. He's going to lose. It is a bit frustrating in this case when we can't pull and can't get the one he killed to finish the dude. He can just switch for as long as he can. Going for the Irida. Don't care about that. I just don't want you to be using boss's orders. Just as long as you can't pull, I'm alright. I don't believe he revealed an A-spec. Hopefully it's not Power Catcher. I mean, it's pr it would probably be that tool that makes Lapras like a 2 energy... Gives it a 2 energy attack. Because I see, I see if you could do this, like... Put the tool, use the supporter to get an energy from the deck, go for a manual, then all of a sudden you can make the attack. Still probably inconsistent. But anyway, regardless, he is going to promote the Dialga. Can't do anything else. I mean, if he goes for the V-Star, he doesn't win. Instead, he did go for the Metal Blast to get the one hit KO. But then I'm just going to finish you off now. So it just works out, doesn't it? So that's a GG. Got our first victory with Blissey on the channel. Pretty good. Yeah, this deck isn't too bad, provided you get the Joltik early setup, you get those energy, then Blissey can take over from there, and it's a decent Pokemon. So that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and I'll see you guys next time. What I